first let's take a look at the form that you will use in this chapter and let's make sure that the form is ready. So in this chapter you will use the profile.cfm page. Let's open that page here in Coefficient Builder. You see that it already contains a bunch of code so let's run that page in the browser to see how it looks like. So it's a, it's a form with the first name, the last name, the email address fields with two passwords fields password and confirm password with a drop down list with the instrument and you recognize the data that comes from the database here that is sorted in alphabetical order and at the end a text area for the user to add some comment to associate a comment with his profile. Of course the form ends with the submit button here update my profile. So let's take a look at the code now in Confusion Builder. So here you see that we have a CF query that selects some data from the instruments table and of course we use that data in the form in the CF select that is here to generate automatically all the options tag that we need. You see those attributes here for the value, the display, the query and the query position. We have learned that in the previous chapter. Notice also that the other fields of the form already use the CF form and the CF input tag. So this is a confusion form. Same thing for the text area. You see that it's using its confusion counterpart, which is the CF text area tag. Now let's talk about that CF text area because there is one little thing that we will add here. We will add one attribute of that CF text area tag, which is the rich text attribute and we will make it equal to true. Which text equal true? What does that mean? So I save and run that page and you see that now the text area is a rich text editor with a lot of icons up there to control what we write. Now if I type something in that text area and then enter you see if I go to source that this rich text editor will actually transform everything I type in HTML and ultimately it is that HTML that is stored in the database. So this is very practical because it allows me to store HTML directly in the database and when I take that data from the database I can directly output that on the page and it is interpreted by the browser as a regular HTML. So let's return now to Confusion Builder because it will, there is one more little thing that I want to show you. I will add another attribute here which is toolbar because this rich text editor comes with two toolbars by default the default toolbar and the basic toolbar so let's make that basic here let's save and run the page again you see that I have less icon than before but I think this is more than enough for the users to add some comments to their profile so now you have learned one more goodie of the CF form tags and of the CF text area tag in particular in this video. In the next video we will take some data from the database and fill that form with that existing data.